Hey guys, this is Jackie, your Nerdy Crafter, and the time has finally come. For so long, many of you guys have been asking me to do something steampunk related. And I have to admit, I was a little intimidated because I wasn't sure how to introduce something steampunk and geeky at the same time. And so for this week, you guys will learn how to make this steampunk themed Mario piece. And I absolutely love the way this piece turned out. The cogwheels at the bottom and the shading just bring everything together. This piece can be made either into a magnet, a necklace, really anything that you can think of, you can go ahead and do it. If you're a fan of steampunk, you are in luck. This week is a collaboration with Tat from Polka Dot Tat. And Tat made a steampunk arm cuff. Her channel has so much variety of different crafts not just one kind of craft that you can use as jewelry, but things that you can use all over the house. So make sure you subscribe while you're there. For those of you new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. There are plenty of geeky tutorials to keep you entertained. Here's what you'll need for this project. Bronze or copper, gold, green, brown, white, gray, brown or black acrylic paint, gold, bronze, pearl, silver, copper, green, pearlex powders. Some tiny gears, or you can make your own. I've seen some really good tutorials on how to make your own gears. I'll leave a link for that down below. Rounded and pointy tools, cutters, rubbing alcohol and a Q-tip to clean up your piece. The first thing we're going to do is take our gold, flatten it out, cut it into a rectangle, and then you're going to lightly dust some white pearlex right on top. Feel free to do a gradient. Now we want to make two little hills. For that, you're going to take your tiny gears Use liquid clay if you have any, and you're going to start placing them. Don't worry too much about what they look like. Just have fun and place them as you would want. Once you've placed them, we're going to go ahead and put a layer of green right on top. Dust your green with your pearlex. Now for the question mark blocks, what you're going to do is you're going to take your gold, cut it into a rectangular piece, and then you're going to take the back of your cutter and create the separation. We're going to make two sets. One set at the bottom that's going to have about four blocks, and another set on top that's going to have two blocks. Once you have that, you're going to dust it with your gold perlex, and then you're going to take your gray clay and make tiny little screws and place them on top. Feel free to dust it with your silver pearlex. For the top part, you're going to take your brown acrylic paint and do two question marks. For the pipe, you're going to take your green clay, make a square out of it, place it on top of the grass, and then you're going to make a really thin rectangle and place it on top of that. Now take your gray and put four bolts. Now for the piranha plant, you're going to take some of your brown, mix it with your copper for the stem, cut a rectangular piece and place it as that, and then take your copper, use a circle cutter, which is really tiny, or what you can equally use is a straw, and then cut your circle in half, and then open it and place it one on top of the other. That's going to make it for the head of the piranha plant. And then you're going to take your gray clay and place a bolt in between the two half circles. For your clouds, take your white clay, shape them, and then place them on top. Once you have it on there, dust it with your pearlex. I'm going to use white and then go ahead and do the eyes. So far so good. Now the final touch, what you're going to do is you're going to take your gold colored clay, make tiny little oval out of it, place it on the left side of your canvas, pick a rounded or pointy tool and make a circle on the inside. That's going to be our gold coin. And then go ahead and take your pearlex, the gold one, and dust it right on top. Optionally, if you want, take your blade and round the edges and then place it on a gray background that you've colored with your pearlex, silver.
and put the bolts all the way around. Now you're going to bake it for 25 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Make sure that your oven was preheated. Here it is all baked, now you're going to take your glaze and put at least one coat right on top. This coat will help seal in not just the paint, but also the Perlex powders. Now if you want to give it a dark steampunk look, you're going to take your brown paint, put it all over the piece, and then you're going to take a brown paper towel and clean off the excess paint. All done! Don't forget to check out Tat's video and subscribe while you're there. Don't forget to add me on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram. If you make anything geeky, use the hashtag NerdyCrafter. If you have suggestions for future geeky tutorials, leave them in the comment section below. Until then, I will see you guys next week.